Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing well. So let's get right into this birthday look. So first of all, I'm going to be priming my eyes with this Revolutions Core Primer. And I just really love this primer because it makes the eyeshadows so pigmented. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying that all over my eyelid. Next, I will be going into my Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and I'll be going into that navy blue color that you see me pointing at, and I will just be applying that to my inner crease. So at this point, I will just be going back in with another layer of blue just to give it a more darker and pigmented um, effect. And then I will just be blending that out as well. So I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I'm just going to wipe off the um, excess color that I don't need because I will be doing a cut crease for this look. So I'm just going to be cutting out, basically cutting out <laughs> cut crease with the makeup wipe um, and I started doing this because I noticed that it just makes the um, Revolutions primer glide on a lot better instead of just packing it onto that color yeah you just wipe it right off and then the color glides right on and then it doesn't transfer the dark blue into the primer as well <laughs> and don't y'all be laughing at my cut creases either because you all know that I'm still learning how to do these bad boys. But I really think that I'm getting better. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep trying to get these cut creases down packed because one day, sis, we're going to have it down packed. But right now, you got to fake it till you make it. But yeah, um, I'm just going to be cutting that crease out the best way that I can. So for my second color, I will be using that lavender purple and I'll just be applying that to the inner corners of that crease. For my last color, I will be using this baby blue up at the top and I will just be applying that to the outer corners of the crease. So going into my messed up LA Colors palette, <laughs> I will be using that darker color to go ahead and um, blend out the harsh line between my eyebrow bone and that navy blue. Next, I'm going to be going in with this white eyeliner that I got from my local beauty supply store for $1.99, and it is by Ruby Kiss. Now, the only thing that I did not like about this eyeliner was that the fact that it was so hard to apply. Like, the brush thingy wasn't, like, made of bristles. It was some kind of weird thing. But I, I did it, and I really love the way that this white eyeliner turned out. Now, I'll just be applying my Essence Get Big Lash Mascara before I put on my falsies. For the primers, I used Ulta Beauty Poreless Primer and the NYX Pore Filler. I will be applying the Ulta brand first, and then after, I will be um, applying the pore filler after. And I will just let this set on my face for a few minutes before applying the foundation. For the foundation, I use Maybelline in the 356, and I will be using a damp beauty blender. And I will just be applying a small amount all over my face until I have everything blended. Now, 
Now going in with my highlighter palette, I'll be using this champagne color and I'll just be applying it all over to the spots that I want highlighted. So for the setting spray, I used the Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. And lastly, going in with my LA Colors and a brush, I will just be using that to blend in my lace to my skin. So you have reached the end of the video, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button, and also feel free to comment in the comment section below what you think about this look. I hope that everyone is staying safe, and I will see you all in my next video.